Welcome to Reality City City Simulation. That's not a city. I'm the manager, and I'm the inspiration behind a city simulation game that I'd like to present to you. You're the inspiration. I'm a building. Myself and my team, we are looking very forward to being able to bring this to you. One of those people has been involved in creating... Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to finish my driver's license photo here at the DMV. I now have a short music video I'd like to present I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. Just imagine the camera naked. I'm viewing this video, and if you'd like to, you can check us out at realitycity.ca. All right. So sold. Wait, what models? I mean, two. We haven't seen anything. It's that night lighting that needs the half a million dollars. Is that... Is this the city? Or, no, it wasn't. The city hall, we call it. <laughs> That's just windows. Frosted glass windows? Bike path bridges will exist in their own dimensions. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, that'll be true for almost all other networks. Oh, wow, looks um, like the game's done. How did we jump from the bike path bridge to this? Oh, wait. Bike path. Okay. So, got really into the bike paths. We get it. Oh, sorry. Right. Seventh level. S sorry, what did this have to do with the city simu- <laughs> Shed. Uh, you know, I love going downtown and just visiting the sheds there, don't you? Does, does the shed have a bike path? <laughs> Prop. But just really focus on that shed. All right, we got it. Oh, there we There's another bike What's well, the bike paths that make this stand out versus other city simulation games, of which I can name none? Well, you can't just show me in someone else's picture of a <laughs> marina and be like, well, this is the goal. Which do you think he took from other sources, and which do you think he made himself? <laughs> We're sure he made this. Yeah, um... But are actually bike paths. <laughs> what the... Yeah, that's a beautiful looking apartment that has this fucking gondola. <laughs> I. W well. Wait, no. Where's hold the on. shed in this picture? But that's not. I mean, just soak it in, man. I guess. But not like this. So right. Much. <laughs> just a little educational fact, by the way. <laughs> You just said that in the previous slide! Grass not included. <laughs> but you don't- you don't have to have, like, is he- is he building a game or a real city? I don't understand. Oh, I don't know what to call this building yet. <laughs> so... <sighs> ah, yes, Ant- oh, her bike path. I was wondering when we see more of those. He keeps saying same idea will apply to other networks, and then keeps showing us the other networks. Like, I get it. Instead of calling it City Simulation Game, why not just Road Porn? <laughs> why not just Bike Path City? <laughs> With a bunch of photographs. I'm seeing, uh, so I'm seeing his game look like a bunch of bike paths with pictures of cities on top of them. <laughs> why? Well, because we have the technology for it right now. Oh. As, as it is with the exact profile. Existing in a void of gray, just like it is in real life. Even the longest cars can use this track. But no bikes, not here. Other networks will follow similarly. All right. All right. How much would you pay for a city simulation game of that caliber? Hard to say. I'm not... I'm a little confused because it seems like a combination of early PC graphics and modern PC, PS4, Xbox One type graphics. Right, it's all next-gen beautiful shit, which I'm sure is all rendered and ready to go. Um, yeah, right now. Yeah. We have the technology for it. You can you can have that for a grand total of half a million Canadian dollars. Given his ambitions for the game, that actually seems reasonable. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Mm. yeah. See, so, I think this started as his concept, and then he went on to make the prototype, which is Drug Town. <laughs> That's where it led to. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. We do have an update. Uh, 
Oh. The site's currently down. They need to find a different host. Um, yeah. So apparently, unless this project reaches its its spelled wrong, funding goal, it won't be able to go anywhere. Hang on. You, yeah. he, do, he did models using SimCity 4? Whoa, whoa. Hang on, minute. buddy. Hold on. Let's rewind here. That's something doesn't seem right. <laughs> wow. You might be stepping on some toes. Do you think the three hundred dollars he raised were from people who realized that? I need half a million dollars to play a round of SimCity <laughs> for. I mean, to really get motivated to do it. This is kind of amazing because it seems like he has just no experience in game anything. Like, uh, let's see here. Uh, the land map will be extremely large. It would be unlikely you would ever run out of land to develop. You'll be able to develop the map as you like with landscaping tools. And then he just goes on to a completely different sentence, like. Anybody can just say that, you know? Welcome to Kickstarter. (laughs) Kickstarter, anybody can just say that. (laughs) Your metropolis can have as many buildings as you like. Millions, even billions. And you'll never run out of room or memory or anything. And they'll all look different. And they'll all have dancing fairies that will sing your name on every floor and room. Nice. With pots of gold that spit out of your computer monitor. But in real life, my game will make you rich. God almighty, this is the biggest fucking thing too. But then you see his actual graphics and... uh, (laughs) Five bedroom bungalow house. And just look at all these great reticulating pledge rewards. I love... Well, I do like the bungalow house, the neighborhood it's in, by the way. (laughs) <laughs> it's a beauty. It is very nice. It I does can look see. nice. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure they have good schools there too. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. What, what are the what are the reticulating pledge goals that you speak? Whoa. Uh, our main goal: 100 buildings guaranteed. Whoa. Oh That's my like god. A city. And a website. Holy shit. So the maximum amount you can pledge, you get. Mm-hmm. So tell me if you think this is worth 8,000 Canadian dollars. I'm sure whatever you're gonna say, it is. You get a thank you. Okay. Uh, name or business name in the game credits. Digital okay. download copy of the game. Okay. Beta copy of the so game. Far. Still 50 bucks. Three hard copies of the game. Uh, name know, a mid sized apartment building. Just mid sized? <laughs> if I give you $8,000, <laughs> you can it's name not... a moderately sized building. Hold on, he's not done. He's not... Uh, you can name one more mid sized apartment and choose the design for it. That's you right. You can name a skyscraper. You Plus can one. name one more skyscraper and choose its design. That's right. For eight grand, two side scrapers, two mid sizers, not anything more. Why do you want three hard copies of the game, by the way? Didn't In think addition. it was worth $8,000 until you threw that second skyscraper my way. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> Wait a minute. For four grand, you only get to name one skyscraper. <laughs> Oh, they have to wow, you got a lot of value on naming two skyscrapers, man. <laughs> it was everything but the second skyscraper. <laughs> For four grand, that's awesome. <laughs> Holy need shit. to look shit. up the Canadian-US dollar exchange rate and see if that looks right. <laughs> no, that doesn't check out. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. All right, do you want to go look at the stretch goals? Uh, yeah, how do I get to those? Just scroll down until you see a big graphic of a building. You'll see our main goal in the upper left. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this is, what I don't, this is what I don't get. For half a million, you get the game for Windows, Mac, and Linux, right? Uh-huh. Another 250 grand, you get 400 buildings instead of 100. For a million, you get 800 buildings. For 1.5 million, you get to drive around the city, and they may, because it's not guaranteed, make it so you can explore the entire city or sites you create on foot if you wish to do so. And then for 2.5 million, um... (sighs) This is where he started running out of stretch goal ideas. We will add as many features to the game as uh, uh, we can possibly come up with to the game to make it the best it can possibly be. And then four million. You've made this person a fucking millionaire. Four million dollars Canadian. We'll look at making the game playable on more platforms, such as Xbox and PlayStation. I'll sell them more buildings. Should the graph be reversed? For four fucking... 
fucking million dollars, you goddamn well better put it on, like, a couple platforms. <laughs> we'll take a look. I mean, no promises. <laughs> it's only four million. I don't know what I could do with that, making a fucking video game. I'll think about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, also expand buildings available. Right, yes. Oh, that's always a and running theme. I don't know you covered, but I did to end at five million. At five million, we'll look at making the game available <laughs> in different languages. <laughs> Well, then you just have to fucking think about it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, that is some fucking audacity. <sighs> um, and what, <laughs> what, what um, gives our project manager the credentials to, to run this? Doing models since 2009 for games. Architectural drawings, 96. Okay. Certified in computers since 2003. Oh, in computers. Yeah. Just and did you know he's been doing websites since 2003? The list goes on. I mean, but websites, that... computers. <laughs> I like this too. Like, this is what qualifies me project. These four things, the list goes on. Well, then show the fucking list. You want to have a million dollars. I'm like, oh, that guy's in computers. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Damn it. So they've uh... already spent four months in development already. And what that what is that development, you ask? Well, it was to create a website and models to be able to demonstrate the game. Oh, very nice. Did we see any of that? No. <laughs> Risks and challenges. Um, oh, God, here we go. Uh, delays are commonplace in the game industry. He's already, like, setting back expectations. <clears throat> oh, he's Should... already gotten... A, he's uh, thought of a genius idea for future DLC as well. Oh? Should such delays arise and force these uh, to be cuts and force there to be cuts to features to stay on time and budget, we will add those features ladder through an update at no cost to you. Well, I would hope not. <laughs> Free DLC. It's good. <laughs> he has these great, like, how are you going to handle main these challenge. things? And he just does. Like, yeah, exactly. Um, with a clear plan already put together on how well, how we will build the game, this is already addressed. <laughs> Should anything need to be addressed when started, we'll do so and continue with the development of the game until completed. Nothing will stand in our way. Whoa. <laughs> I'm looking back at the $300 post I mean, there's a little and... something standing in the way. Right <laughs> yeah, now. yeah. It's, let's not go nuts here, guys. Fact. You have a question? If the answer no, I guess not. <laughs> Nobody has questions. Pretty cut and dry. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you, uh, yeah. I'm just clicked on the comments. One comment. <laughs> Good luck, you guys. You'll need it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was meant to be nice and encouraging or not. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, something I thought I'd share with all of you under updates. If you go to Simtropolis, change the search to members, and type in Robin9000, you'll then be able to see a variety of models I have done in the past for SimCity 4. I just thought this might help some of you in having more confidence in the project. No. Yeah, that's why I saw that. I thought, is he using SimCity 4 models to prototype his game? I'm sure he's very good at modeling, but that's not... It's like one step in the road. Yeah. I don't know shit about game development, but I just have an idea. All right, we're going to change the search to members and go to Robin 9000. And no results found for Robin 9000. Yeah, now I have a lot of confidence in the project. Great. Good. 